Over 80% of people on Earth are living in developing countries. The promotion of human rights globally is inconceivable without these six and a half billion people as the main focus and driving force. China combines the universal principles of human rights with its prevailing reality regarding the rights to subsistence and development as primary and basic human rights. At the Global Poverty Reduction and Development Forum held in Beijing in October 2015, President Xi Jinping said in the keynote speech that poverty eradication is and always has been a goal and a basic right of all peoples in their pursuit of a happy life. He called for building consensus and joining hands to tackle difficulties, promote win-win cooperation and benefit all peoples by building a community of shared future for human beings. In 2013, President Xi Jinping proposed the construction of the new Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road. The Belt and Road Initiative is conceived as a cooperation framework that promotes common development for China and numerous other countries. This will be achieved through such practical means as removing obstacles and narrowing disparities in progress. In 2015, President Xi Jinping announced that China would set up the South-South Cooperation Assistance Fund with an initial contribution of 2 billion US dollars. Over the past five years, this fund has actively supported developing countries in implementing the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, responding to humanitarian crisis and achieving poverty reduction and economic development. From building roads and railways, tunnels and bridges, airports and harbors, schools and entire villages, to offering medical aid and protection for cultural heritage and the environment, China is making a huge contribution to the fight against global poverty and providing vital support for other developing countries and underdeveloped regions. At the China International Friendship Conference held in Beijing in May 2014, President Xi delivered a speech in which he stressed that the Chinese dream is about Chinese people pursuing a happy life and is part of the same dream shared by people worldwide. In realizing the Chinese dream, he said, China will work together with other countries so they can realize their own dreams. China, in providing aid to developing countries, attaches no political conditions, nor does it ever interfere in their domestic affairs. It respects the mode of development a country has chosen and deals with it in a spirit of respect, equality, and honesty. In this way, China has earned widespread esteem and friendship among the developing countries. China is a staunch supporter of active participant in and key contributor to South-South cooperation. As such, it is willing to share its successful experience with more countries and peoples. It will do so without reservation in order to boost progress throughout the developing world.